Welcome to the first installment of AP Revisited. In this series, I have decided to um, revisit the AP courses and exams I took back in high school and try my hand at an AP type test again to see um, if I actually retained any of that knowledge and I'm um, yeah, to be able to see where my knowledge base is at as well as be able to take the joy of doing a multiple choice test because like a weirdo, I enjoy multiple choice tests so those are always um, kind of fun for me. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what I still remember. So in this first installment, I'm um, be looking at AP Art History, which I took in my junior year of high school. If I remember correctly, I got a three on the test, I believe. I, think. I remember going into it, I wasn't very confident. I was just really hoping for a three, and I think that's what I managed to get. It was a lot. There's a lot to cover in AP Art History, considering um, there are many time periods and many different cultures that you're looking at, and obviously, within the span of like a school year, you don't have the chance to look through all the different like periods or history and places as well. Um, it tends to be rather Eurocentric. I'm really into like Art Deco, which is like 1920s for so far as like architecture styles. My favorite artist is Gustav Klimt. He did The Kiss, the most famous painting. Um, I also really love Alphonse Luca, who was a Czech artist. And they are both kind of around the turn of the century, 18th to 19th century. I just googled kind of art history tests and this site came up, so I don't know, maybe if you want to try your hand at it, you can go here. And so I'm going to be doing this AP Art History Diagnostic Test 5. Renaissance is like, maybe like 1500s or 1600s. So these are 16th or 17th. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 16th. Gothic. It's not Renaissance. I I think I got. I think I got the other question wrong. I don't think there was an Italian king called Louis. Like that's not an Italian name. I don't think. Or is it? I don't know. It would make sense for the king to be the patron, but. I don't know about Italian kings. Um, I know the Medici's were super influential and rich. And they like sponsored a lot of art. But I don't know if they would like be the patron of a cathedral. I'll just go to the Catholic denomination. It's because it is a Catholic cathedral. Okay, it's not Art Nouveau or Art Deco. Cause those weren't, I don't think those were in the 1800s. Rococo, I think that was in the 1700s. So I think it would be romanticism, unless it's none of these, in which case, screw me, but let's go romanticism. I don't know. Um, uh, oh yeah, this dude. I don't think it's this one, cause I'm pretty sure Monet is an, an impressionist, not post-impressionist. I don't think it was about that. I think it definitely is reactionary to the impressionist movement, so I'm just gonna go with this one. It's kind of as Matisse-esque, but it's not really all that Matisse-y. I don't think it's Van Gogh. I don't think it's Cezanne. I'm just gonna go Merck Chaval, because I don't know him. This is a ver I think it was, it's Vermeer Rembrandt. It's one of them. Vermeer Rembrandt. I don't know which one. Vermeer did the girl with the pearl earring. I think they're both Dutch. Mm, it's not Matisse. I don't think this is Monet. It doesn't seem the kind of thing you'd paint. Delacroix? The name's familiar, but I can't remember what he painted. Don't know who Gustave Courbet is. I'll just go with Delacroix. Maybe angels? I don't know why they would have made them like this. Especially since a lamb, that's like Jesus symbol. Diego Velasquez has the right pen name, I think, so I'm gonna go with it. Warhol. 
don't think it's Lichtenstein. It's one of these two. Okay, there's people dying. Harl Rex is king. Rex. Uh, something about king. Is the king in here though? I'm gonna say glorification. Up at Stewart is. I don't know what Yoruba art is. Jonathan Lato. I don't know who that is. I didn't know any of these. I don't know Latin. What does Cetus Sapienti mean? Bayou's Tapestry. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know who the Anasazi were. I don't know what any of these are. I, I didn't know it was any of these. I question everything. I feel like I'm getting so much wrong. It's really bad. my score I got 57% right you know it's more than half which is honestly that's a lot better than I thought I was going to do it took me a little more than a half hour to do I probably could have spent a little more time on it but I'm an impatient person so I did it I only got 28% of art beyond European artistic traditions that's probably because in AP art history we spent most of it learning about European art I was like really lost with everything else. 3D art, 70%. It's passing. It's a C. Let's go. Um, I got Cetus Ambiente, or however you say that right. And that was also a very difficult question, so I'm feeling pretty good. Apparently that's like not a difficult question, but I have no idea what the Bayou's tapestry is. Oh, is this the tapestry they were doing for the later questions? Or do all those tapestries just look the same to me? Anyway, this is what the Bayou's tapestry looks like. Cool, cool, we're learning. Oh, the artist was go gone. What other stuff did he do? Yeah, this kind of artwork also isn't my type of like things. So maybe that's also why. Basically, I'm just coming up with excuses. You know, depressed arch makes literal sense, but I thought it would like have a fancy name. I just remember, I think it was like in middle school, we like, in history, we like learned about some gothic architecture and we learned about the flying buttress. I just remember everybody was really tickled by the name buttress so it's really mature in middle school it was supposed to be an easy question average zero seconds come on that's not and look only 18.5 percent got it right and like it's supposed to be easy because lapis lazuli is like it's a blue stone so it makes sense right yeah see look at that it's a blue stone i don't know why i'm fighting this fast but i've never even heard of Fiance. Fiance? What the heck is that? Oh. It's, I was supposed to know that. Yeah, this question, it was Vermeer. I was debating between Rembrandt and Vermeer. Sad days. I thought Monet just did like pawns and stuff. <laughs> Isn't that? Or like, did he also do like ballerina? No, ballerinas were as um, Degas. Degas was a ballerina guy. See? Yeah. I see, I thought Monet mostly did like nature type stuff. I had no idea he did like trains. Like it seems really outside of his like typical wheelhouse. So I feel like my answer makes sense. Although I can't remember what Delacroix ever did. Oh. Oh, he's, oh, he, he was this guy. Okay. So yeah, I was definitely wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. But also... I feel like it makes sense that I did not think of Monet. Yeah, I've never heard of the Edict of Milan, so yeah. Plus Theodosius the first. Yeah, see, I thought it was like a Roman emperor who would have like done it. Cause like, I remember that, um, like it was some Roman emperor who like first embraced Christianity. So I assumed it would have been like along with that, but I guess not. Like when was the Edict of Milan? Oh, it was Constantine. Constantine the first. But why are they depicted as a man, a lion, and ox and eagle? Why? Oh, the four loving creatures. Okay, but like, I feel like it's weird to like, represent them on something based on Revelation. Or no, this isn't Ezekiel, I guess. Yeah, see, that's why I thought it was Revelation. I don't even know who Gilbert Stewart is. Oh, uh, yes, any portraits. Once again, like I said, primarily learned about European art. So, um, not as familiar. Okay, it's like this kind of stuff. See, I was between these two because I didn't know who they were. Turns out it was Jasper Johns. Whoever the heck that is. Oh, you like this guy, okay. Who, who's Robert Rouskenberg? I, I, okay, I'm not familiar with his work. 
apparently he really likes JFK. Not Kandinsky. Me stereotyping? Was that me like profiling the artist? It's Marc Chagall. Chagall does him. French. Those are cool. Seemed like a nice old man. Once again, this was a complete shot in the dark. Just picked a French name. Let's check out Jacques Louis TV. Okay, fancy stuff. And then I picked Antoine Francois. He did more like portraiture. See, you say it's an easy question, but then only 22% of us get it right. So, I don't even know what jungle Francois are. Like what? Oh, here, okay. An architrave is a structure that rests about the tops of columns and is found primarily in Greek and Roman architecture. Jungle Francois, I don't know what that means. Oh, like they like fit. Oh, they're like all like squiggly and they fit. I guess I learned a few more things about art history, uh, or at least I got like a refresher. I got to like learn a little bit more about like different like non-European aspects since that's like obviously very big playing spot for me. But yeah, that was a fun time. Well, not a fun time. I started like stressing out because honestly, multiple choice tests are only really fun when you know the answer, and that sounds really pretentious to me. But um, yeah, anyway, that was kind of a cool way to do things. I don't know how like percentage wise how much it like evens out like the normal AP score okay so apparently a 3 on an AP exam is equivalent to a B minus C plus and C in college okay so I'm gonna assume like a 3 is like a 70% and I got like a uh, 57% I feel like I think that's like an F I think that's an F that's fine that's whatever I did better than I thought I would that has been um, section one of my AP revisited series um, go check out varsitytutors.com I guess if you also want to take um, the AP tests I might just use this site for all the future ones I want to take as well which will be um, AP world history AP US history and AP Lang and AP lit because those are the only ones I ever did I, did, I also took AP tests for um, I did take the class of AP stats, but I did not take the test because why would I do that to myself my senior year when I did not need to because I was going to film school. I might see if they have like AP French just to see how bad at French I really am, but um, because I did take French for four years, so I did never took AP French, but maybe, maybe I'll try that. We'll see. But um, yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me. Let me know in the comments down below if you took AP art history or you took art history in general or if you like his art history like i don't know what's your what's your fave artist and subject yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing me struggle at art history and maybe hopefully you learned something along the way as well um and yeah i will see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to it's free country i don't know um so yeah go ahead and do that and i will see you later have a nice day bye bye